Acute renal failure is the sudden loss of kidney function that is potentially reversible with early detection and prompt intervention. This condition develops rapidly within hours to days, resulting in the inability of the kidneys to filter waste products and fluids from the blood. Acute renal failure can result from prerenal, intrarenal, or postrenal causes. Prerenal injury involves external factors like hypovolemia, decreased cardiac output, and vascular obstructions that reduce blood flow to the kidneys. Intrarenal injury is caused by conditions that directly damage kidney tissue, resulting in impaired nephron function. Examples of intrarenal injury are prolonged ischemia of the kidneys, nephrotoxins, such as aminoglycoside antibiotics and contrast media, excess hemoglobin released from hemolyzed RBCs, or myoglobin released from necrotic muscle cells. Postrenal injury is caused by mechanical obstructions that block urine outflow, such as benign prostatic hyperplasia, kidney stones, and tumors. Several factors increase the risk of developing acute renal failure, including aging, underlying health conditions like chronic kidney disease, diabetes, hypertension, heart failure, liver disease, autoimmune disorders, dehydration, blood loss, severe infections, and toxin exposure. Symptoms of acute renal failure may occur across body systems due to fluid overload and the buildup of waste products in the blood, such as uremia, elevated urea and nitrogen levels in the blood. Renal symptoms include oliguria in early stages and anuria in late stages. Cardiovascular symptoms are often caused by fluid overload and include hypertension, pitting edema, heart failure, arrhythmias, and pericarditis. Respiratory symptoms include dyspnea from fluid overload and kussmaul breathing from severe metabolic acidosis. Gastrointestinal manifestations may include nausea, vomiting, anorexia, gastrointestinal bleeding, and gastritis. Neurological symptoms occur from uremia and may include confusion asterixis, a flapping tremor, peripheral neuropathy, seizures, and coma. Hematological symptoms include anemia from decreased production of erythropoietin and bleeding tendencies caused by platelet dysfunction. Integumentary signs include pruritus, dry skin, pallor, ecchymosis, and in severe cases, uremic frost. Musculoskeletal effects include muscle weakness and cramps, and endocrine issues involve electrolyte imbalances, metabolic acidosis, and insulin resistance. Diagnostic tests for acute renal failure include blood tests measuring serum creatinine, blood urea nitrogen referred to as BUN, glomerular filtration rate referred to as GFR, and electrolyte levels. Urinalysis and renal ultrasound tests may be performed to identify structural abnormalities, obstructions, or infections. Nursing diagnoses related to acute renal failure include decreased urinary output, electrolyte imbalance, fluid volume excess, risk for bleeding, imbalanced nutrition, and anxiety. Goals include improving renal function, stabilizing electrolyte levels, managing fluid volume, enhancing nutritional intake, and preventing complications. Medical interventions for acute renal failure focus on resolving underlying causes, restoring kidney function, and preventing permanent damage. Treatments include fluid management with intravenous fluids, medications to lower high potassium levels, nutritional support with dietary restrictions, and in severe cases, dialysis or surgical interventions to correct obstructions. Dialysis can involve hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis, or continuous renal replacement therapy. Hemodialysis uses a machine to filter blood and is typically performed at a healthcare site several times a week. Peritoneal dialysis uses the abdominal lining to filter blood and is performed at home. Continuous renal replacement therapy occurs over an extended period for hemodynamically unstable patients. Nursing interventions focus on safely administering medications, monitoring fluid and electrolyte balances, and promptly reporting concerns to the healthcare provider, ensuring accurate documentation of fluid intake and output, and collaborating with dietitians for appropriate dietary planning. Health teaching involves providing information and medications and dietary and fluid restrictions. Nurses continually evaluate client status to determine if expected outcomes are being met and make adjustments to the nursing care plan as needed.